Max Klinger, born February. Max Klinger, born February 18, 1857, was a German artist who produced significant work in painting, sculpture, prints, and graphics. Klinger built his reputation with his many cycles and series of prints, specifically intaglio prints, the family of printing techniques in which the image is incised and etched into a plate slathered in ink, and the paper is pressed into the surface. Klinger would eventually integrate several intaglio media like a quaint dry point and etching into one single plate, producing remarkable formal and tonal qualities. The subjects would range from obscure symbolism to darker aspects of realism. And the philosopher is an example of the representation of both, its sonoric symbolism and the morose realism, accentuating a symbolic message that is obscure and may not be completely and genuinely understood by many while utilizing realistic qualities such as the details and anatomy of the man within this dark tonal range. In Max Klinger's Philosopher, 1898-1910, to the sense of scale within this art piece itself is utilized effectively as it is easily understood the difference between the sizes of the man, his reflection, and the fallen woman beside him, demonstrating a significant contrast between the depiction of the man and the woman, as you can see here. However, the etching is merely an estimated two feet in length and one foot and three inches wide. Additionally, the composition of the artwork is evident in its use of light, color, and texture, depicting a focal point through the contrast between the detailed shaded man and his pale, modest reflection. Klinger's use of lines and the lack of texture allude to a sense of simplicity in their reflection, placing an emphasis on and creating a point of focus for the viewer. And within regard to color, a blank, white, and partially gray man is in the reflection, while this, this, this shaded and detailed man is physically present within this art piece, which creates this contrast. And the, the color of each thing is just black and white. It, there is, there is, it is a monotoned artwork that we can see here. And furthermore, regarding the subject of Max Klinger's use of lines within this artwork, a deviation between the man and his reflection is created from the sense of movement that it, the vertical lines, these evident strokes, create. And such movement can be seen traveling across the man's reflection. It can be depicted as water flowing down through the structure where the man stands and the woman lies. A further emphasis on how the effect of his lines, with the addition of smooth textures and refraction of light, demonstrating an idea of flowing water as it can be seen flowing into the crater where the representation of a woman is lying. Therefore, the contrast of the man, his reflection, and other aspects of the etching leads to a juxtaposition within the artwork as it is both modest and simplistic, yet a detailed and lifelike piece of art. The masterful use of Klinger's intaglio printing method is shown by the intricacies of the etching, displaying a range of simplicity to realism.